Here's for gynecology. Gynecology is a subject that's very similar to pathology. We read a textbook called Shaw and I think one of the worst features of gynecology is that it's quite volatile. So you need to revise regularly, you need to read regularly and it's better if you take notes on the major essays or major topics so that you don't end up needing to read such a boring textbook again. That's our only advice I think when it like broad strokes this is our advice for gynecology that you have to be consistent regular and read to make very concise notes the goal of reading gynecology should be to have a specific understanding of the clinical features investigations diagnosis with the criteria needed to make that diagnosis and treatment usually within treatment you can break it down into medical treatment and surgical treatment so you need to be a little clear when you are reading gynecology Almost every condition you need to have these headings down and be able to identify what the treatment of that condition is or what that specific diagnosis is. So a diagnosis of a condition like bacterial vaginosis would have to fulfill the AMSELS criteria. So read that. That's an important question. And read it right now immediately after the video but whatever it is you need to know how you diagnose that condition and what makes it different from everything else in gynecology so that's the basic solution for it i'm gonna try to go through some important topics this list is as extensive as it can get but is not limited just to this if there is something else you feel like reading definitely go ahead by all means nothing is off limits in final year they can ask anything so the important topics that we had to learn were the cancers of the female Male reproductive tract I think the most important were cervical and uterine and carcinoma breast a lot of people consider carcinoma breast to be of importance in surgery let me tell you our senior batch got carcinoma of breast in their gynecology paper and they were shocked because that was two papers after their surgery paper and they had I think a day worth of gap and a day of exam before they got this so obviously it was a challenge for them cancer of breast can be included in gynecology definitely address it and another topic that's really really important as in every paper will have at least one question regarding this is birth control and medical termination of pregnancy mtp act you need to know this because obviously in india the population is very high and birth control is now becoming more of a necessity so read that entire chapter as thoroughly and as perfectly as you can and the analysis Anatomy of the pelvic floor can be asked. Watch as many YouTube videos as you can about it if you're unable to read the text and understand it. If possible, go back to your first year anatomy textbooks and read that if you're still confused. And the reason why this becomes important is because prolapses, uterine prolapse and associated prolapses, either of the bladder or of the rectum. So you need to know that. Learn every sentence of female and male infertility. Other topics that were extremely important were pelvic inflammatory disease, endometriosis, adenomyosis. These are what we remember on a broad level, but make sure you go into your past 10 years question papers and then identify those so that you will have a clearer idea of what you need to study for gynecology. Like I already said, make sure that you have these headings down. That is etiopathogenesis, clinical features, investigations, diagnosis, treatment. Within treatment, you need to know medical and surgical treatment. And if there are any other more of treatment than that as well so these are the general concepts or general principles of studying gynecology it is easy if you make it easier on yourself i would like to show a set of notes that i made for gynecology so that hopefully it will help you make your notes so these are my notes on pelvic inflammatory disease and in general just a gynecology notebook this entire notebook and so i'm here to show you how your notes should be where you have an etiology a set of causative organisms or if it is relevant and if it's an infectious disease as you can see it has a lot of headings going for it so focus on organizing your information into headings and go into the anatomy if required pathogenesis 
followed by clinical features and a differential diagnosis which will set your answer apart from others if you're able to write a list then jump right into the whole investigations and treatment which we've already mentioned before that you need to know the different kinds of treatment this is the medical management and then you can go into surgery if required if there are minimally invasive surgeries or completely invasive surgeries and also prophylaxis if the condition requires it so these are my notes on pelvic inflammatory disease but you can see here that we made it on other conditions as well yeah so these are about it thank you now coming to gynecology infections infections are very very important and they are examiner's favorite in your gynec practicals so you need to know the causative organism the signs symptoms and also the treatment along with the dosage and duration they ask you this and you need to know for few infections which is given very well in the book so you can just refer your textbook apart from this they'll ask you about the genital prolapse fibroids which are presented usually as the dysfunctional menstrual bleeding so you need to know about the myomectomy the myomas the myomectomy screw etc so these are very important in infections are important and because cervical cancer is really important especially in india they tend to ask you about the cancers about the pap smear about the different tests associated with it and if the examiner wants to push you further ahead they ask you about the tumor classification so better to learn all the cancers classification at least in a gross manner if not uh, in very detail before your practicals and apart from these learn about all the drugs the specimens the instruments some charts if they are there etc which will be put to your viva in the afternoon and these vary from college to college and you know them by the end of your pre finals probably so learn them properly but for the morning session the definitions are really important in your obstetrics and gynecology practicals thank you hey 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 so before you leave please like share and subscribe if you liked our video about gynecology we'll try to keep coming with more and more content for you so so thank you so much